Who doesn't love warm waffles, especially when it is served with a nice and delicious looking ice cream or a topping of their choice? Today we'll be making a very simple waffle with one of the healthiest flour of amaranth. Amaranth is not just any regular flour. It has unique nutty flavors, is more nutritious than any other flour that you know, and it has a wide range of health benefits. My name is Srikant Singh and welcome to our channel Happy Belly Fish. Normally waffles that you get in a cafe or a restaurant are made with refined flour and this is a major problem. Refined flours are basically nothing. They just fulfill your hunger for time being but bring no nutrition to your body. They are low in fiber and are highly processed which makes them nutritionally poor food and they are also hard to digest and can lead to constipation and bloating. Amaranth flour on the other hand is highly nutritious flour containing several essential minerals and is very rich in fiber. It is naturally rich in minerals like manganese, magnesium, phosphorus, iron, selenium and copper. For so many of us who wish to replace mineral supplements with natural foods, amaranth is an excellent choice. In fact, amaranth is so rich in manganese that it can exceed your daily nutrient needs in just one serving. This flour is gluten free and is a great choice for those with celiac disease or any other dietary restrictions. Amaranth also digests slowly which can help regulate blood sugar and can be an excellent food for those people with diabetes. It is very rich in antioxidants that can help fight free radicals in the body. When you make food with better ingredients you can prevent the risk of several chronic diseases and amaranth is one of those best ingredients that you must include in your diet. And now that I have told all the good things that amaranth can actually provide you with I hope that you will make waffles with amaranth flour instead of the regular refined flour. Amaranth can be found in the market as whole cereals or as flour and today we'll be using amaranth flour to make our tasty and delicious waffles. I'm going to make this waffle with just five basic ingredients. One and a half cup of amaranth flour. These are available in the stores easily and they have an earthy and nutty taste to it and are not as fine as a refined wheat flour. You will need one egg and this will make the waffle fluffy. One cup of whole full fat milk, four to six teaspoons of sweetener syrup and two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. Now sweetener syrup can be your maple syrup or sugar syrup that you can make yourself. There is a healthier alternative to refined white sugar when you're trying to make this sugar syrup. It is jaggery which is unrefined cane sugar and because it does not go through this refinement process with chemicals, it has a range of beneficial minerals in it. This may look like an alien product to many around the world, but these days it's available online very easily. To make the sugar syrup, I'm going to boil one small glass of water and add roughly two to three heaped tablespoons of jaggery to it. Once the jaggery has dissolved, the syrup is ready to use. Now let's make the batter for the waffles. So take a blender and add milk, Add the amaranth flour, the egg, four to six tablespoons of sugar syrup and two tablespoons of flaxseed powder. Blend nicely and make sure that all ingredients are well combined and that there are no lumps in the batter. Pour this batter into a bowl and allow it to settle. We have added some flaxseed so it needs some time to expand and bind the ingredients together. Now making the batter is not always an exact science when we are cooking at home. Sometimes there can be deviations for many reasons like the brand of flour that you're using or the type of milk that you're using. So if the batter is a bit thin then add some amaranth flour and flaxseed powder and if the batter is too thick then add some more milk. If you do not wish to add eggs, then add twice the amount of flax seeds that I have mentioned. And if you wish to replace the dairy milk with a vegan alternative, then you can use any plant-based milk such as coconut milk, almond milk, or even hemp milk. In the meantime, fire up the waffle iron and preheat at maximum settings. And while it heats up, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We need your support as much as you need these tasty waffles. Now at this point, you might wonder which waffle maker should you buy if you don't already have it. There are many different ones available in the market for domestic use, ones that flip and ones that don't. And it is believed that those that flip can cook waffles better from the inside and that there is no rawness at the center of the waffle. So if you don't already have a waffle maker, then I hope these points that I have said will make it easier for you to decide which waffle maker to go for. When the waffle iron is heated and ready, ladle the batter, spreading it evenly. Make sure that you do not put too much batter, otherwise the 
lid would not close and the waffle will also not cook properly. Close the lid and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes on each side. After 5 minutes, flip the waffle maker if you have such a function and then cook for a further 5 minutes. In some waffle maker, you might have to flip the waffle itself manually. When the waffle is ready, it will appear crisp and golden brown. And try not to burn it, otherwise the waffles will begin to taste bitter and very dry. Amaranth flour takes a slightly longer time to cook than regular refined flours by maybe a minute or two. Now there's no way you can have a waffle on its own. So while the first batch is cooking, you can prepare your favorite toppings, whether it's fresh berries, sliced up bananas, a drizzle of maple syrup, a dollop of Greek yogurt or fresh cream. The choice is yours. You can get really creative and make this amaranth waffles truly your own. I love waffles with ice cream, so I'm going to make a blueberry ice cream for which you will need one cup of frozen bananas and half a cup of blueberries, frozen or fresh, whatever you have. Chop the bananas into smaller pieces and this will make it easier to blend. Add these two ingredients to a blender and add about one to two tablespoons of sweetener depending on how sweet you want it to be. Blend them together and soon you will have a nice, bright and delicious blueberry ice cream. Freeze this for about 10 minutes so that it can get a bit more firm. Now that the waffle and the ice cream are ready, let's put them all together and make it look nice. And plating waffles is really easy. Just put a generous serving of ice cream on it, sprinkle some fresh pomegranates and a fresh mint leaf for that tiny bit of extra touch and it's ready. And no, those are not my hands. I had asked my wife to do this because she makes things look much nicer than I can. So there you have it, a nice mouth-watering, wholesome, warm amaranth waffles served with the tastiest berry ice cream that you can ever make. When I got my waffle maker, I had to learn to start using better ingredients to make a waffle as a healthy treat for everyone in the family, from the youngest to the oldest. Making waffles is easy. It can easily be enjoyed by kids and teenagers and can be a great starting point for many who want to cook easy and healthy recipes. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned a lot about amaranth flour and how to use it. Do remember to give a thumbs up and I will see you soon in the next video. Until then, happy cooking.